Hey everybody, they're really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Amnesia Memories. And this is the second part of going for Ukyo's bad endings. We finished his normal ending and a few bad endings in the last one. So I'm not sure exactly where this break is going to fall, because I have to do all the editing first before I decide where to put the break. But, uh, yeah, welcome back to the rest of his bad endings. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you several endings to a terrible, terrible, tragic story. Let's go to Seichi University. Got it. It'll be our first time going there. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Oh, someone's coming. You idiot! I'm never hanging out with you again! Oh, they're really. Are you here to submit your report? Or did you finish already? He's such a bastard! An ogre with the heart of a robot and the glasses of a demon! He said to resubmit it! Resubmit! Aww. I don't really get what's going on, but even I can sense that it's most likely Sawa's fault. It's rare to find you here on our campus. Kent? Yay! Oh, it's Kent. I wonder if we have to submit a report. What should we do? Run for it? Sawa seemed to be screaming something just now. But there are no issues with your submission, don't worry. Ah, you've already turned it in. What a relief. Good job, you. <laughs> it would have been impossible to submit a report in our current predicament. Ukyo was saying that Kent was a substitute teacher. He must be scary. Damn that Sawa. What does she even mean by I won't hang out with you anymore? I wonder if she thinks I'd be phased by, by that threat. No one would be. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't a very good threat. It was like a very childish thing. I'm not going to be friends with you anymore. Well, I guess I would feel bothered. Just a little. Oh, can't. Well, wouldn't would be because it actually happened. So that means he does feel bothered just a little. <laughs> what? Normally, I wouldn't even pay attention to her. But since starting this job, I suppose, I changed a little. Ikyu said the cafe was understaffed and half forced me to work here. It's been three months. Lately, I've learned to enjoy conversations with people. The evening festival the other day was a great experience. Ah, so Sawa saying, I won't hang out with you anymore is making Kent feel a little lonely, huh? Kent, that's very cute of you. I agree! But you don't have to worry. I'm sure Sawa will forget immediately. Well, maybe not immediately, but soon. So, how about you? Have you gained anything from that job? Money? <laughs> I've made money. I've made friends. I see. You seem to be on the same page as me. Oh, there you are. Hey, it's Iki. He's running over. Morning, Dorelli. I didn't know you'd be here. The manager just called and said there aren't enough people in the kitchen today. He wanted me to ask if you can go in, Ken. What? I didn't hear anything about it. And come to think of it, I left my phone in the lab. So, what do you think? Can you come in? I'm done here. I mean, the kitchen has always been relatively empty. I'll help. Got it. Then I'll go with you. Sorry for interrupting your conversation. Please address all complaints to the manager. Later. So it was Iki who invited Kent to work at the cafe. I guess they were friends originally. I remember. Oh, here it comes. And that being said, Kent will be starting here as of today. Be nice to him, guys. He's tall, but he won't bite. Don't worry. Iki. You don't have to say that. And besides, I can introduce myself, you know. My darling Kent. Whoa! I wonder if that memory was when Kent first started working here. I wonder who it was that thought of putting Kent in the kitchen. He's really a great fit. He was saying stuff like, cooking is all about precise measurements and logical procedures. <laughs> 
That is a perfect fit. Did you text me earlier? I don't really want to, but... Ukyo is kind of a strange guy. I can see why you think that. You did say you were curious about him yesterday. Would you like to come over? It'll be fine. It's not like we have a fate of death after us or anything. Well, if you say so, I guess. I guess you really trust Ukyo. Well, I guess for now we can leave all this self-defense stuff nearby. Okay, that sounds good. Okay then, I'll come by at 8 tomorrow. I know it's early, but I just want to tell you as soon as possible. Sorry. Well, I'll be on my way. So after I leave, be sure to lock the door. You rest well, okay? Hey, are you alright? What you just saw were the events that occurred on July 31st, right? Ukyo came over to your place. Just that, wasn't a scary memory, right? But you looked so pale. Did you see something else? Did you see something I didn't see? Well... What is it? Tell me! It was the explosion at the science lab that I got involved in on August 1st. Wait, what? What happened? Hey! Hey! Oh, did I just black out again? Are you awake? Are you alright? You fainted last night. Huh? How'd you get back in? What? Ukyo? Why? Ah, uh, that's right. It's 8 already. I forgot to lock it. Hey, what are you doing? Your door was unlocked. What are you doing trying to open my door? Yeah, I know that, but she fainted. You look better this morning. You turned pale so suddenly last night that I panicked. Sorry for taking you all over the place yesterday. If you were feeling sick, it would have been better if we kept you at home. So, do you think I can talk to you? I know this will sound like total nonsense, but I want you to listen until the end. No, I think it's better to keep it from him. Again. I wonder what fate of death means. I don't really know for sure, but I think it's some kind of balancing power that works on this world alone. Just like when a living creature gets hurt and it heals, let's say that each and every world has the function of trying to maintain its proper form. Like memory foam. And if its default state is for you to die by today, then some kind of force will compel it to do so, right? I think that's what Ukyo meant when he mentioned the fate of death. But, because you're fused with me, the world is starting to get confused that you might not be you. If that's the case, then you can't regain your memories today. Oh, you got a message. Ah, it's from your manager. No, I can't come into work today. He would never do that. You may think so, but... Everything I'm about to tell you is just a guess, but hear me out. And here we are at bad ending number one. Ouch! <laughs> Seems like the other me won't come out. I can't breathe. Does it hurt? It's alright. It'll all be over in two minutes. Don't worry. I wonder if I'm going to just die like this. Hey, can you still hear my voice? But even if I were to die at this rate, if he could survive, then I guess this would be best. It's almost time. Later. Let's kill each other again in another world. Ukyo. I... That was so short. All that for that short... Well, we got all this extra scenes from going through the other decisions, at least. Alright, bad ending number two coming right up. So I gotta open that last save that I made. Continue from that. Yes, come on, come on. And say, please don't go. They're really... well... Alright then, I'll sit over here so you can go to your bed. If you want to, you can go ahead and sleep. 
Well then, if you insist, we should take him up on his offer and go right to sleep. Orion, you didn't notice the crazy eyes. You're really weak. It wouldn't be good to stay in the state. Please? Good night, Dorilli. I'm still alive? What an idiot. How dumb can you be? I warned you so many times. I told you not to let your guard down in front of me. Wh what Whoa! That bastard! He's got the stun gun now! <laughs> Aren't you a lucky one? You might be able to die the easy way. To be able to die in your sleep is the best way to go. Really? Wake up! Stand up! So, what do you want your end to be? A knife? A rope? Or on the rooftop? Well, I guess they won't be much different, will they? You are asleep after all. Well, I won't be if you take me to the rooftop. They really, they really, please run for it! Sweet dreams. Oh, let me tell you one last thing. Both me and the other me. We both love you from the bottom of our hearts. Even the Ukyo that wants to kill me loves me. Oh, my heart, the Yandere love. And... Now for bad ending number three, we have to start all the way back from the beginning. So for bad ending number two, we choose yes. Which means we go into the college, I think, so we'll probably meet our death, right? The way we were fated to. Alright, let's check it out. I'm a little curious what that man meant, but I guess we'll find out later, right? Yep, we will meet our fate of death. There'll be an explosion, and we'll pass out. Does this place look familiar? I can sorta of understand the school layout, but I don't really get the class placement. I wonder where the places are where you normally go. You want to try going in a bit more? Supposedly construction is going to start soon, so we should be quick about it. Too late! What? Ah! It's on fire! The fire is... What the? What is going... There's an explosion over there too! There was someone over there! There was a major explosion nearby. A hard, sharp fragment stabbed me, and then another, and another. A flash of pain as my body had shattered, and immediately afterward. I felt nothing. The debris rained down. The rest I could see was red. What happened? What was happening to me? I'm dying? I tried to call out to someone, but I couldn't remember the name. The voice in my head faded until it was no more. And with that... Without remembering who I was, I closed my eyes, all alone. But no, Ukyo is by my side. Ah, uh, I failed. I wonder, no matter how much I struggle, will I not be able to have a future with you? Oh, poor Ukyo. Bad ending number three. Go from save two. And we have to say, I don't know about that. I see. I don't blame you. Sorry for the sudden invite. I wanted to check something out, but I think it's just paranoia on my part, so just forget about it. Anyways, this is goodbye now. My house is that way. I'll drop by the cafe again. Goodbye. Huh. Sounded like he knew something. Maybe we shouldn't have declined. Well, I guess there's no point in stressing out about something that happened already. I'm sure we'll see him around again. When he kills me again? Home sweet home. What should we do today? No work, no plans? Why don't we go walk around there? We can even walk towards the college area. Well, we shouldn't. I mean, it's pointless to be holed up in the house, so let's go outside. Hmm. 
I wonder if you came around this place a lot. In Iki's route, I did. Do you remember anything? Can you remember? I remember meeting Iki here after work a lot of days. I guess it's hard to try out of the blue. But I feel like you can find some kind of trigger that'll spark up your memories. I wonder if our approach is wrong. Maybe we're being too casual about it. Hmm. Hey, we should just go all crazy and just talk to every person we can possibly... What? Wait, what? What? Huh? R run! You're going to get crushed! Hurry, go over the... Whoa! I was struck suddenly by something heavy, followed by even more piling on top of me. A car, a truck, a big metal pillar, chunks of concrete. Without even knowing what was happening, I... Sorry, but do you think you can take a day off of work tomorrow? Or else, you might die. Ah, I shouldn't have gone near it. This is what comes of not heeding Ukiyo's death warnings. So now to open save five. Oh great. Is this going to lead me to a bad ending with Toma if I tell him this? <laughs> oh no! Iki's fan club did this to you. Great. Toma's got the ukyo eyes. I see. Huh? Um, he's sort of scary. Can you leave this to me? I'll take care of it. I won't let them hurt you anymore. Is he going to take me to his place? Well, if he's going to resolve it, that'll be good, right? I wonder if he's okay. Man, was that tiring? Let's take a break. And here we have to say, I don't know. And this will lead us into our fate. I see. Right. I'm thinking the same thing. Then maybe next time we should keep our distance, but watch him closely. I mean, it would seem weird to all of a sudden keep your distance from him. Oh crap, it's almost time for our break to end. Let's head back. Toma! This isn't your route, but we're heading for an end with you anyway. August 15th. Toma, why can't you be more like Iki and get revenge on the girls not hurting me? Good morning. Today is such a nice day. It's warmer than usual. Oh, someone's here. Who can it be? Is it Toma? Good morning. Sorry for dropping by unannounced. Lily doesn't have dark circles yet. Hey, Toma. I wonder why you'd come all the way to your place. About the fan club yesterday. I found out some things about them. Can you come with me? Not if it's back to your place. He found some things out. He sure acted fast for something that just happened. But if he did do something about it, that would be so helpful. You want to try going? I have no choice. Yeah, I saw Rika after that incident. I had her try and find the bad seed in the fan club. And then I pretended to be her, figured out the location, and went to see the girl that threw the water balloon. Did he kill her? And that's when I found out a lot of crazy things. Those girls were plotting to drive you against the wall, Dorilli. Where are you taking me? It's a pretty messed up plot at that. Man, it pissed me off so much. It's been a while since I've gotten that mad. No, it's Toma's place! So, oh, have you never been over my place? I live here. I wouldn't have come if I had known! Come on, really. Well, I probably wouldn't have had a choice. <laughs> but with blood! Oh my god! What? What's all this red on the floor? Oh, that's ink. Don't worry about it. 
I grabbed their things as evidence, but I guess I spilled it. That's actually kind of plausible. Well, I suppose looking at it now, it does look like blood at first glance. But no, his eyes! Yeah, but it's not blood. At the very least, it's not yours or mine, so don't worry. That, that was not reassuring. What? Um... Is, isn't he acting weird? So... As long as they exist, I feel like you shouldn't go outside for a while. Sorry, but I will keep my promise. I won't let anyone hurt you. I promise to protect you. Until the day you die, I will protect you here. Forever. In a cage. The dog cage. We'll be together. Forever. Thank you, Toma. Thank you so much for your protection. It's so sweet and thoughtful of you to keep me in a little dog cage. Well, it was nice to be with Toma again, even if it was just for a little while. <laughs> he did have a short route. Oh man, even even when we played through this the first time with the good ending, I knew that was going to be an ending if we took that that choice. I knew it. Alright, so, bad ending number six, open six. Okay, and this time we say, I'll try. Fifteen minutes later. So, are you saying that spirit is still inside you? And because of that, your memories and your personality disappeared. Ah, I see. So that was the reason. Because you fused with a spirit, the world couldn't recognize that it was you. So as long as you're with that spirit, you can safely make it to tomorrow. Tomorrow, isn't that right? At this rate, that is. <laughs> Who would have thought it'd be for such a reason? I should have come out a lot sooner. What the? Whoa! He, he used the stun gun? <laughs> Did it shock you? Huh? Oh, why? Why the puns? No! Ah, uh, well, you're unconscious. So you wouldn't know, would you? Uh, really? Wake up! Stand up! Well, let's finish you off then, shall we? Knife, rope, rooftop. Well, guess since you're sleeping, it doesn't matter how you die. The really... The really... Run, please! I can't! Later, the really. Oh, I'm so glad I made it. But then what happens to the other you because you're not traversing worlds anymore? That was the last jump. I want to know what happens to him after that. Was this the one? Got it, then let's sneak our way over there. If something happens, you can just come back fast. So, this is the location on the map. Huh, nothing really looks the part. If it's just meeting up, he picks somewhere else, right? Huh? Something sounds... Really? A steel frame is falling. Whoa! They really watch out. Too late. The steel frames that came falling smashed my right hand. Once I couldn't move, the rest severed my body. I couldn't even move my left hand. I wanted to ask why, but my lungs had begun to stop. Instead of a voice, blood seeped out from between my lips. Oh, you're still breathing. Poor girl. But you see, you need to suffer. Despite this tragedy, I'm sure it's easier than if it were me, right? <laughs> now I am the Traveler Worlds. I thought it would say I was the bad ending master, but nope. I'm the Traveler Worlds. 
AKA the bad ending master. Ah, oh, there we go. Now I have the bad ending master. <laughs> well, that was the last bad ending for Ukyo. Now all that's left in the next couple of videos is to read the extra short stories for everybody. So we'll uh, do it in the order that I read everybody in in the first place. So it'll be Kent, Shin, Iki, Toma, and then Ukyo. If they're like around 15 minutes each, then I'll put two in one video. But, you know, if it's more than 20 minutes, then I'll make them each their own video. So I'll see how it is when I come to it. Well, I definitely really, really loved Ukyo and all his split personality yandere glory. His sweet side was so sweet and his crazy deranged side was, was really scary and kind of cool. But he was so earnest about protecting us and just always there and just to think that he died so many times for us. I mean, even though he did kill us quite a few times in the past, it's, I mean, it's understandable. The poor guy went crazy. I mean, especially if you died that many violent deaths. I definitely imagine that would have a, a pretty big toll on your sanity, you know? But I really loved his good ending. Now, now I realize I should have said this at the end of his good ending. But, um, yeah, his good ending, I loved it. I was so happy to be with him, but I still think that he should have lost his memories. Or not all his memories, but he shouldn't have had to have the memory of all those deaths and his memories of killing us and stuff like that. And I think we should have been the ones to retain our memories of that last world. <laughs> but I was so glad that we did actually get to be with him and, you know, everything comes full circle about why things were happening and stuff like that with his ending. That's like kind of the true ending. That, but now I'm super, super curious about the sequels. Like how exactly did they work those? Well, we'll see what I can do later at some point. We'll see what everybody votes for after Rain de Fleur. Or if there's any people who volunteer to do fan translating and really want to translate Amnesia sequels, then uh, I can continue with those. But I can't afford to actually go find and pay a second translator, so... <sighs> oh, well, unless I actually get, like, a whole bunch of contributions on Patreon, but that would be a lot, so... I'm not counting on that anytime soon. Alright, well, again, join me tomorrow to, uh, start checking out those extra scenarios. Tomorrow will be Kent's extra scenario. And perhaps Shin's if Kent's isn't very long. So, I hope to see you there or in some of my other future videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye bye everybody. <laughs>